Hello, I'm Pastor Jeremy Washi, and welcome to chapel here at Salem Lutheran Church and School. Have you ever felt guilty for something that you've done to someone? And maybe something you've done long ago and you've heard them say to you, I forgive you. Don't worry about it. It's in the past. And yet that guilt remains. Maybe it's a name that you've called someone that you love. Maybe it's an action that you've taken against someone. Maybe you physically harmed them. Or you didn't show up when you said you were going to show up. Or maybe you've taken something from someone that you care about that you shouldn't have taken. You've heard the words, you're forgiven. You've said, I am sorry. But you keep wondering, am I really forgiven? Well, the Christian has an answer to that. We can know for certain that our God has forgiven all of our sins. And when we, when we turn to him and say, what must we do to be saved? He has an answer for that. And that answer is baptism. Because in baptism, we are connected to the death of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, where he died for all of your sins. He paid the punishment for every last sin that you have committed. Not just by his physical suffering and death on the cross, but by the torment that he endured for every last one of your sins, the wrath of God. He endured what would have been an eternity of hell for you on the cross. And you are connected to that. You are connected to the death of Jesus in your baptism. And so, when we respond, what must I do to be saved? We are instructed, go to baptism. And if you already have been baptized, you don't need to be rebaptized. but remember your baptism. Remember the baptism that may have happened at a font very much like this, where a pastor stood there with you, maybe as a baby, maybe as an adult, and took water and said, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And when the water is connected to the Word, it may seem so simple, and yet it does something that nothing else can do. We don't need to add things like dishwashing soap to the water for it to be effective. We have God's Word. God's Word of promise saying that when you are baptized, you rise up from those waters, having died with Christ, having your punishment for sin being applied to Jesus as if it was applied to you, and now you live a new life. And that life is one free from guilt and sin. To highlight this, I wanted to go back to the first lesson that was read in our Sunday service, which is also available on our YouTube channel, where the Apostle Peter was preaching, and he had, con he had convinced those that he was preaching to that they were guilty, and that their sin sent Jesus to the cross, and they felt guilty for all that they had done that, need that caused Jesus to have to go to the cross for them, and they asked the question, what must I do? What must I do to be saved? And Peter directed them, not to actions to try and make up for what they've done, but to the gift of baptism, where full, where full forgiveness is given. First Peter, or excuse me, Acts chapter 2, beginning at 32. God has raised this Jesus to life, and we are all witnesses of it. Exalted to the right hand of God, he has received from the Father the promised Holy Spirit and has poured out what you now see and hear. For David did not ascend to heaven, and yet he said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Therefore, let all Israel be assured of this. God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Messiah. When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what must we do? Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. With many other words, he warned them, and he pleaded with them, Save yourselves from the corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized. 
and about 300 were added to their number that day. This is the word of our God. And so through baptism, God gives us the gift of full and free forgiveness. And while the devil might try to get you to feel guilty over your sin again, you can know that you are a baptized child of God if you have been to the waters of baptism. If you have not yet been to the waters of baptism, contact me. My information is at salemwells.net. I would love to talk to you about baptism for you and for your children. For now, I'd like to close our devotion with a prayer of remembrance for baptism. Dear Father in heaven, you adopt us as your very own children and give us your name through the waters of holy baptism. You generously pour out on all people through the waters of baptism your Holy Spirit, your Son, our only Savior, Jesus Christ. By the washing of water with the Word, you unite us with Jesus in his death. Just as surely as we do share in his resurrection and his never-ending life, for his sake, you call us your beloved children and declare us to be well-pleasing in your sight. For all of this, we thank and praise you. Amen. God be with you. And remember, God is good all the time. And at Salem, we will continue to rise as one.